Hi guys, today we visit uh, number 26 in the Sonneburger Straße number 73. Zalando sh was in here before they were. And um, the guys are moving in a month, uh, but we're still gonna have a look into the old office. Yes, Valentin, Hi. thanks for having us. Yeah, welcome to the office. Thanks. So you're gonna give us a little tour? Yeah, of course, yeah, we're not here for a long time anymore, but yeah. uh, a short tour, of course. Perfect. Maybe while we walk slowly already, the first question. So what is number 26 all about? Um, number 26 is about actually creating a better banking experience yeah? okay. and making banking as it should be. Yeah. Uh, for young people, mobile, fast, no hassle. Perfect. Very short and precise. <laughs> and uh, how, how did you choose the industry? Did you work in banking before? or? Yeah, actually I was in a classical business school. Okay. Um, and of course I tried out the internships that you normally do, so I was working uh -huh. with an investment bank. Um, but I never worked in retail banking. Yeah. Uh, I worked in the internet business and I always said, okay, banking is maybe a very slow paced industry yeah. and that's why we choose fintech to be disrupted very good and how long do you guys exist already so we have founded the company uh, beginning of 2013 uh -huh. um, yeah, and since then we are existing and growing. Very good. And now in Berlin, or started in Berlin also? Or? As we started the first two months in Vienna. Vienna, okay. Yeah, because I'm originally born in Vienna. Okay. Um, but actually after two months we said, okay, let's let's go back to Berlin. I've been working here before. Mm -hmm. um, because the surrounding is great, a lot of talent here. Mm. Uh, and it's very important for us. And if you want to build a big internet company, I think uh, Berlin is one of the places to be in Europe. All right, awesome. And um, so this is your team. Maybe you can tell a bit how, how are you divided here in this room? Yeah, so it's different. Yes, yeah, so it's product team here. Then product, we have, okay. yeah. Then we have a marketing team. I think right uh -huh. behind me. Okay. Uh, and then we have some more developers further down uh, the big hall here. Yeah. Uh, on this side we have more the operations team. Here we have the business intelligence team. Okay. Um, so everyone and in one room. And customer support are separate because of uh, the privacy concerns. Yeah. Um, um, some people from the backend team have to be separate because okay. of the technology they're producing and also some people from customer support of course for data privacy reasons are in a separate room. Right, cool. And maybe one last question before we, we meet the other founder. Um, who inspires you as a founder? Um, I think there are some great, uh, some great people in Silicon Valley. Mm -hmm. yeah, I think uh, starting with Peter Thiel, who also invested into our company, um, but also I think Elon Musk with the mm -hmm. companies he was founding over the last years. Yeah. Uh, I think all these people are exceptional personalities, yeah. and they are also really hardworking and giving everything for the startup. Mm -hmm. And that's really inspiring myself. Mm -hmm. um, and I think you need that personalities to keep you up every day. Yeah, great. I'm Dirk. Nice to meet you. Nice meeting you. Also, thanks for taking the time. Should we take a little walk to your uh, back uh, meeting room? Yeah, we didn't happy. see that yet. Happy to do, to yeah. do that. Okay, and maybe while we walk, one or two questions. Um, if you had one wish free to German politicians, uh, what would that be? Well, I think uh, the best for us would be if the environment for startups would be improved, like okay. make uh, financing more easy mm. for uh, for investors, uh, make uh, make uh, better tax uh, provisions and so on. Okay. So, what was the biggest challenge you faced so far with um, number 26, and maybe also the biggest mistake you made? Uh, what you learned out of that? Well, generally, um, mm. for a startup, it's always hard to find uh, the right office. It's either too big or too small, yeah. and you know we. We are moving all the time. We moved in here two months ago. We are moving um, this week, and we are going to move in another two months uh, yeah. to the next office. So it's always hard to find the right size of office. And right now, when you're growing, it's always like if you find uh, if you move in an office that's just uh, right when you move in, yeah. it's going to be too small yeah. in just a couple of weeks. One could say also a luxury problem, of course. If you grow that fast, it must go well. Yes. But, uh, yeah, I understand. Yeah. But we just know, like the office we take right now, mm. it's either like uh, we we now. We now we have a rental contract for five years. Yeah. We just know in five years it's either way too big or way too small. Yeah. Do you have some advice for other founders from your experience so far? Um, who want to become founders maybe? Think about the, the, the right product uh, mm. first uh, before, before, before you launch. Launch early mm. and um, then try to find the right investor to share your vision. Mm. Like at the beginning you, you, you keep talking to a lot of people who actually just talk about uh, fundraising with you yeah. but they're not the ones that write the check to you in the end and I think it's very it's very uh, important that you uh, that you uh, uh, are able to distinguish between those two types uh, yeah. quite early in your entrepreneurial career. Sure, so some good advice for you guys and uh, thanks so much for the tour.